everybody, it's Jody. I moved closer to the window so it's not so dark. Um, and I kind of like this little view. My music room's kind of like dark in the background. Anyway, um, so today I'm going to talk to you about how I wrote um, my song, The Birth of a Song. And um, I'm going to be doing some videos like this throughout my challenge. If you are not aware, I am doing a songwriting challenge right now where I am challenging myself to write a new song every week between now and the end of the year. So this is week three and I wrote a song called The Birth of a Song. And um, yeah, I plan on sharing some videos on my process um, just to, in case you're interested in this kind of thing. Um, and so this one I think is a little interesting how I wrote it and I kind of want to remember the birth of this song. So um, here we go. I actually wrote the beginning of this song like three years ago. Okay, so I wrote this part. didn't do anything else with it until now um which actually I don't think I have any other unwritten songs out there or half written songs out there at least not like that um but I when I started this challenge I remembered that I had that somewhere in my pocket and I went back um and found it on my phone because I had recorded that. That is a little tool I use a lot when songwriting. If I come across something that I like, I'll record it so that I don't forget. And um, luckily, I had recorded that little bit, and so I um, had a little jumping off point. So you'd think, oh, you know, you've got, you've already got it started. For me, so often, the hardest part is starting it. Um, you'd think, oh, me Maybe it didn't take you very long to finish, but it did. This one took me like two weeks. I was in the middle of writing it, and then um, the last song I wrote last week, The American Way, just plowed its way through, and I wrote that very quickly. Um, but the whole time I was trying to also write this one. So I had the little melody, or the start of a melody, and so um, I knew after repeating that little part, da, 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 that I wanted to go into kind of like a different direction to kind of like surprise the listener. I just, I knew I wanted it to kind of do something unexpected, um, but I didn't know what. And so I decided to slow down, go back and figure out what chords I'm playing first. And this is a baritone ukulele. Um, so the chords mean um, like this is a D chord and you may be used to this being a G chord if you play any other ukulele or ukulele, um, but baritone, it's a D. So anyway. Um, I knew this was part was a D in the beginning because I'm only hitting these two strings so it does I don't have to do that part but it's still a D because it's D and A are the notes. So then I was thinking these notes are D and B um, so I figured well those two notes are in the key or are in the chord a G chord and same with the next ones the D and G. And so I tried that to see if that fit. So I decided to finish writing this part of the song with chords and then I would go back and, and play it in the style I want to play it. Um, so, and I realize I'm playing in the key of D because I'm playing a one chord. D would be the one chord and G would be the four chord. So it'd be like a one, four, one. So I wanted it to go somewhere different. So I was trying some other chords that aren't typically in the key of D and I tried an E major. And I liked it. Um, so that's how I wrote the 
the second part was with the chords, just trying chords and, a mel and figuring out a melody. No words yet. Um, so once I figured out those are the chords I was going to be using for the verse, then I went back and wrote the rest of it using basically just these two strings. And so the next part was D, and then I knew it was G. I knew from before this could be G or this, and I liked it better open, so I went with it. about this time is when I did kind of get an idea of what it was going to be about and I did that I was working on the lyrics actually in the car because um, I already knew the melody and um, so I was wanting I was just kind of letting whatever words came out and I was just I like to do it in the car because you can't concentrate too much because you're concentrating on the road and so you kind of are, let your subconscious kind of just bleed out a little bit um and that's always been kind of a good method for me i tend to um i just will kind of free associate almost and let whatever words come out and then i will hit a line and i'm like oh i like that and then it just totally gives me an idea of where to go with the rest of the song and that's how a lot of my songs begin and so um with that one i got to i remember saying a line something like she sits in silence or something like that and i was like oh i like that um who is she what's she doing why, why is she silent and i was um trying to get some ideas and nothing i couldn't figure out anything to write and then i literally said why why did this song come to me three years ago stick with me all this time and i still it's still not telling me what it's about and um so then i thought hmm, she says be patient and then, um, and then I thought she is the song or the muse, the inspiration. Um, and so then I kind of went with that and I wrote the song about kind of about how it feels for me sometimes writing the song. And that is where it's, it's, it is me, but like, especially, like I said, in the beginning, in the beginning, it's not in the beginning. It's whatever words come out. It's not even something I'm necessarily thinking about. And, um, that's why in the beginning I said you don't need to steer it because in the beginning I don't. Um, obviously, after I figure out what I'm, what what I want it to be about, then I do shape it and steer it. But in the beginning, I really don't. Um, I try not to. I just try to stay open. And so, um, so once I figured out what the song was going to be about, and I had the chords and the melody, you think it would be easy, but it still wasn't. It just this one was painful. It was labor intensive because I really was trying to have a conversation with the muse or the inspiration and really trying to figure out what would she be saying and what would she be feeling. And, um, so it was just, um, it was an interesting process, um, but difficult at the same time. So then I had what it was going to be about. I had the verse. I, all I had to do was the chorus and I decided just go back stay in the just key of D no weird chords and so I decided on C D oh sorry G G D G D and then I knew I wanted the chorus to end on a D so I could go back to this how I had started it so I just decided to do the five of five so E7 which is the five of A7, which is the five of D. So circle of fist there, baby. Um, and also I tend to, I like to try and make the chorus a little different than the verses um, in some way. And so I added, instead of just um, plucking these two strings like I had for the verses, um, I, I plucked the whole thing. So I plug these three strings, and then I go back into this in between. So it's... And I really liked the sound of that. I've never written that for guitar or ukulele before. And then I go back into the beginning. So I don't know if that made 
made any sense or not, but that's how I wrote the song. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe so you can hear all my original songs coming up. There's going to be a lot more between now and New Year's. So have a great day, everybody. Don't forget to play your uke or your guitar or your banjo lele or your baritone, which is a uke, but you know, um, or your zither. Just play something today, make some music, and have a great day. Bye-bye.